Hello, everybody, and welcome right here. <laughs> I'm going to do a uh, little looky at the new headphones I got. These are from the KOSS uh, brand headphones. And they're basically, um, they're basically sort of like the Wii, uh, the Wii 3 uh, headphones from Turtle Beach Air Force which they sadly discontinued, which is kind of lame. I really like those headphones. So, I got myself a pair of these. They're basically sort of the same. Uh, they have the same ear design. It takes triple A's on both of your pieces that you just easily pinch to open the door. Two triple A's on each side. I mean, one two, triple A on each side basically two in total <clears throat> and they're behind the ear design so they sit like that snugly you can dance and they won't fall over and stuff like that that's what I like also about the behind the ear design it's actually lock onto your ears they don't just go over your ears and like oh, oh. And then when you're using them, it's like break. Dang, they fell off again. Dang it. Or any other funky design like those helicopter ones. Or uh, G uh, DJ type headphones where they go all the way around your ear and they and they go like Nah, I don't like those kind of uh, headphones. And normal headphones that go over your head and such, they gotta have all funky type, weird, funky, uh, like, foam inserts that just, like, it has a little tiny circle, basically, it's like over here, over, uh, around the, I can't even speak. Basically, they're like the ones that go around your ear, but they just go on your ear. And they have a little tiny little hole donut shape in their middle. It's just like... <sighs> so yeah. Normal designed uh, type of foam padding. So it makes it pretty normal for headset. Um, they're wireless, which I also like. It kind of feels weird after a while going back to wireless and yeah, no wires coming around your face. You're like not not feeling around the wire, you know, and in your face and whatnot. It's it's a new change. <laughs> I tell you that. And uh, it's a pretty simple design. It's got the power button right here, and it will show the LED to little infrared LED to turn on. And it's got the volume port, the volume uh, wheel over here, right here. And then uh, this little rubber piece right here, sort of wheels here. And what also makes this design good is that I believe, right, that this brown, this like bronze piece right here, that middle piece right there, is actually metal, not plastic. So it makes these a lot more durable. Um, now the transmit for these, since they're wireless, but they're also special wireless. Unlike most people would dislike though. This is the transmitter. That's small. Durable plastic, pretty easy, uh, very lightweight, and uh, takes plugs into a normal 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, pretty good. You've got your 12 volt AC uh, power port, and then your on and off switch. 
Now what makes this different than most wireless <coughs> and also makes it the best is its infrared technology. So it's by IR ports um, signal. So um, there's no interference from radio frame, uh, radio stream routine or any other crap like that. It's by line of sight. <coughs> <clears throat> so if you're in a white room like what I'm in right now, it'll help out hugely to be in there because the IR ports uh, shoot infrared and that will bounce off the walls and cause it to go bare on the receiver end, which is obviously headlines. Um, And it works pretty well. So about 20 feet worth, or, uh, or about 25 feet worth. Nice. It won't go through walls though, sadly. But who said, who's who's going to take their headphones more than 25 feet away through their entire room when they're going to want to rock out into the room like bam, 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 bam. Now what's also cool is about these brand. They also that sell the ones that go over your head. So if anybody's looking for that, you can get those if you don't want to bother with these. It's the behind the head ones. But yeah, good IR port, good uh, sound quality, and uh, it's wireless. It takes only two AAAs. I like that. And they're the same design, almost the same design as the Wii Turtle Beach Air Force. So if anybody's looking for that, oh yeah. <laughs> and what I also have been trying out to, uh, with these headsets is that uh, some I've seen some of the reviews kind of saying that uh, they're complaining about clicking sound or uh, static. Make sure you have fresh, brand new batteries or rechargeable batteries at max charge in the system headphones and it's um, when you do plug this into a computer through here make sure you have that medium volume to deep set basically and you um, you have it on and if you do have any YouTube videos or something like that that's like ooh really loud make sure you turn down just a bit because the clicking sound could be either the volume's too low or the volume's too high. So make sure you have it just at the middle area. That way the transmitter can actually keep up with the um, rock and rolling. You can easily, if you think it's too low for your sound and your ears, just turn it up right here. It's not that hard. This is actually probably like a volume booster, as uh, what we old people would call it. Uh, since back in the old day, uh, volume was basically like sound quality was like um, like if you bought the Wii, uh, the Wii U, and if uh, N L A uh, headset and plugged into your computer, that's how sucky it would sound. It, without a uh, volume boost. With volume boost increases the sound two times and makes it two times more loud. So that's what this is. <coughs> Sorry. So anyways. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll have a, a more uh, review or deeper look at these headsets later on in the future. But I wish to hear you guys do these suckers on my computer and voice chats maybe soon or later. So thank you guys for watching and peace out.